Good day, friends. My last video was actually put up as a precursor to this one. When you use kelp as a mulch or addition to your compost, the common question often comes up, what about the salt? Now, when most people think of salt, this is what they think of. You get in the baking needs oil in the store, table salt. To a chemist, a salt is actually an ionic combination of a metal and a non-metal, as shown in the periodic table. Table salt is actually sodium for the metal and chlorine for the non-metal, making sodium chloride. There are four other major salts in seawater. We have calcium carbonate, gypsum, sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, and potassium chloride. These contain the ions of chlorine, sodium, sulfate, which is a molecule of sulfur and oxygen, magnesium, calcium, and potassium. Also dissolved in seawater is carbon, bromine, boron, stromium, fluorine, and also of note, if to a minor amount, phosphorus and nitrogen. This is your typical water soluble fertilizer. What they do, they add the salts that I mentioned and then they make a salt out of different elements plus a ethylene dimine tetracate atom so what an ionic combination is is you have the metal with a positive charge and the non-metal with a negative charge so they stick together water can separate this bond between charges so they dissolve when water infiltrates through the ground it takes any excess salts with it so if you have more precipitation or irrigation than you do evaporation the excess salts on your ground will be leached down through and wash out in the streams and brooks back to the ocean again if however you have more evaporation than you do precipitation the water comes up through the ground to replace what's being evaporated on the surface and as it's doing so it pulls with it the salts that are lower down when it evaporates only the water evaporates the salt is left behind so you get a buildup of salt on the surface of your soil. In a location like Newfoundland, we have much more precipitation than we do evaporation. And this will be sitting over the winter covered in snow. So any excess salt will be washed away when the snow melts in the spring. The other thing about seawater, it has actually a vast number of dissolved elements in it, including all the micronutrients and macronutrients your plants need. I display the long list of elements that is dissolved in seawater here. The fifth column is actually 
the what you'll find by putting in the molar amount of that element that will be in the water if you mix this according to directions in completely fresh water. So if I were to walk across the street there and get seawater and water my garden, I'm basically watering it with something like this, except there is many more nutrients in it and it doesn't contain the artificial salt elements that you would find in your commercial water soluble fertilizers. The dissolved elements in seawater is all the elements that has been washed out of your soil. So basically by putting seawater on you're replacing the dissolvable elements that uh, was once in your ground already. So that is the explanation of the seawater, the salt in seawater. It is not of a concern where you get more precipitation than you do evaporation. But if you're on somewhere like the prairies, which of course don't have an easy access to um, kelp, then salt water would be an issue. And this is why actually they have a salt problem is because when they fertilize their ground with water soluble fertilizers they're actually fertilizing it with salt and instead of draining down through and running out in streams the water that is not used by the plants evaporates back up again leaving behind those salts so every time the crop is fertilized then the salt adds to the previous salt that was not used before. The kelp, of course, is an additional organic matter that will be added to the ground. Plus, it is one of the most nutrient-dense organic matters being in the nutrient soup that is seawater. So it's probably one of the best fertilizers for your ground. Hey hens, coming over to see me? Why are you going back again? I was hoping you'd come say hello to the camera. Got the young hens out running around the yard. I uh, don't like having them in the coop all the time, but I don't have a pen made for them yet. So, uh, they've been locked up for a long time now, and I've got the gardens all taken up. So I thought this morning, hey, I can let them out and run around the yard and enjoy themselves. So that's uh, the video for today um, on kelp and the benefits and that you don't need to worry about salt in your kelp unless you live in one of the few areas on earth that is dry land that runs close to the sea where you would have access to the sea but yet desert like conditions so if you found that interesting please click like share the video and if you haven't already, become a subscriber, would be nice. Click the bell for notifications.